Hello, church family. Michelle and I would like to come to you by way of this video and just speak to you about this upcoming crisis that we're having in our state and really around the world uh, with the coronavirus. And I know a lot of different people have a lot of different opinions about this. But here at Monclova Road Baptist Church, our first priority is people. It's, it's you. It's our church family. It's the guest that uh, come to church and are looking to know more about the Word of God and draw closer to the Lord. And so we have been in direct communication with the governor's office. We are watching um, from the World Health Organization and uh, from the places that uh, uh, in our county that is giving us information. And we believe this, that we need to act upon the information that our um, government is giving to us and act upon it appropriately. Because of that, we are going to have to make some adjustments here at our church. And uh, the governor had a news conference yesterday, Thursday, um, March 12th. And in that news conference, he uh, outlined a lot of things uh, like canceling schools for three weeks and uh, putting a, a cap on mass gatherings. And he did exclude churches from that mass gathering. Um, but we still uh, want to just make sure that we are doing things to keep our facilities clean and safe. We are going to um, begin to adjust some service times. Starting this Sunday, which is March 15th, we are going to move our service times um, to uh, include no um, adult classes. And so if you normally come at 8.30, 9.30, or 11 and participate in an adult class, from now through April 12th, we are not going to have any adult classes. We are going to um, have children's ministry, but instead of having them in small rooms in um, where students are tight together, we are going to move our children's ministries into the gymnasium so that there's more room so they don't have to be next to each other so that we can still continue to teach them and train them about Jesus Christ, uh, but do it in a more safe area. We are going to keep our 9.30 and 11 o'clock service times, and we will have nurseries, and um, we will have uh, services in the auditorium during those times. We are going to, we feel it's necessary that we do cancel our Sunday evening five o'clock services. Also, we don't want to do this, but again, we feel like it's necessary. Since schools have been closed, we don't think that it's wise on Wednesday to bring a, um, over 100 uh, children into a AWANA program and over 100 children into our youth program as well in tight quarters. Uh, we are going to cancel our one o'clock and evening Wednesday services to include AWANA and uh, our youth ministry as well. And I know that some will not understand, some may not agree, but when you're in a place of leadership, your decisions impact a lot of people. And my most important concern is that our church is safe. And I want to be a good pastor and a good shepherd during this time. My wife is going to just give you a little bit of instruction about our nurseries. Again, we will have nurseries at our 9.30 and 11 o'clock service times, but we want to give you some confidence that we are taking this serious and um, doing the best that we possibly can to keep them safe. So Michelle, give them some information yeah, about nurseries. We just nurseries. want to assure you that we are taking all proper precautions. We are sanitizing, continuing to sanitize all um, hard surfaces. And I just want you to be confident um, and know that your children will be safe. We are asking if your child is not 100% healthy that you would not put them in the nursery. Um, also, we will no longer, um, just over these next few weeks, we will not be um, giving them snacks. So just be aware, so make sure they're fed before they came, come in. We just wanna make sure they're safe and that they can remain healthy. This month was also a, a pretty exciting uh, event for us. It's called our Fifth Sunday Fellowship. And um, our church looks forward to those. It's the time that um, we bring everyone together in one service and have a lunch afterwards. And the information we're getting from, from uh, those that um, medical community and the governor's offices, that's just not a good idea. 
And so we are not going to have our combined service on March 29th, and we're not going to have a lunch provided afterwards. We're going to still have service in the morning, but we're going to have a 9.30 and 11 service, 11 o'clock service, just so that we aren't having large gatherings of people. And so we hope you understand that, and I'm sure you do. Again, we're just looking at what's best for our church, and we don't want anyone to get sick. If by chance you or someone in your workplace or someone that you've come in contact with has uh, been exposed to the um, this virus, the coronavirus, would you please let us know? We want to make sure that we get that out to whoever might be infected as well. And so uh, let us know if you are being quarantined or, or feel the need to be quarantined because you've been in contact with uh, someone with the virus um, so that we can get that information out to who we need whoever we need to get that information to. And we want to communicate with you. We're going to be putting more videos out and over the next couple weeks and really be uh, trying to do our best to connect with our church family. We love you. And uh, it's an honor to minister. And we want to make sure that we're making wise decisions. We want you to trust the leadership of your church. And um, we want to take it serious. And we know that our decisions have uh, ramifications to them. And so... I want to encourage you as well. Don't live in fear. Don't get too hyper about this. The Lord is still in control. This is a wonderful opportunity for us to get the gospel of Jesus Christ to a world that is in crisis right now. We have hope because we know Jesus Christ. I want to encourage you to look out into your community and if there's people that you can help uh, those that have great needs, reach out to them and help them. Elderly people in our church, in your community, family, call them. Make sure that you are reaching out to them. Let us know if we can help deliver food or or just be a, a help or a resource to someone that has a great need. Let's not just clam up and um, hide. Let's be the light. Let's be the church and let's go into our community and give them the hope that the gospel gives to us. I want to encourage you as well, church. Don't use social media as a platform for opinions and arguments. There's enough of that going on. I want to encourage the people here at Monclova Road Baptist Church, if you're going to use social media, use it to edify and glorify the Lord. Don't use it to cause friction. Don't use it to cause problems. Use it to exalt Christ. Put Bible verses. Point people to a Savior, not our opinions. It's easy to be an armchair quarterback. It's easy to question the, the president's decisions and the governor's decisions, the pastor's decisions. I'm in a place of leadership. I make decisions not everyone agrees with. Sometimes there's facts that you might not be aware of, and uh, sometimes Leaders just have to make hard decisions. And it isn't necessarily right or wrong. It's just a decision has to be made. And so I want to encourage you to support those in leadership over us. Speak well of them. Don't fight and cause arguments on social media that would cause other people to say, if that's how Christians behave, I don't want anything to do with them. Trust me, this is something that God is in control and it's going to end. The crisis will one time day soon be over, and we're going to continue on with our lives, and we want to continue to have a good testimony for Jesus Christ. So look for ways to exalt Christ. Look for ways to serve others, and make sure that you're holding a testimony that's pleasing to the Lord. I hope this information that we're giving you today is helpful. If you have any questions at all, you can call the church office, reach out to the staff. We will do everything everything we can to um, meet whatever need you might have. Again, we love you. And I'm looking forward to ministering here with you and serving the Lord together with you this coming Sunday, March 15th at 930 and 11. I hope to see you there. God bless you.